China has been showing considerable discomfort with the opinion polls of the American company Gallup Inc., stating that the company's polls serve as a tool to contain China and maintain U.S. dominance. Hello, welcome to our channel. We kindly ask you to leave a like on our content and follow our channel to stay up to date with all of our updates. Please let us know if you have any suggestions for improvement. Let's go to the news. The company that according to Chinese media is used to influence public opinion and not allow Chinese commercial progress and has become the country's new target. Gallup, Inc. is an American analysis and consulting company based in Washington, D.C. founded by George Gallup in 1935, the company became known for its public opinion polls conducted worldwide. From the 1980s, Gallup transitioned its business to focus on providing analysis and management consulting to organizations worldwide. According to the Chinese government-controlled press, there is clear evidence that opinion polls have become tools of political elites to discredit China in the international arena, and this practice is another U.S. hysteria regarding China. Gallup released a new poll on Tuesday, in which Americans' view of China hit a record low, with only 15% of respondents viewing China favorably, marking a decline of 5 percentage points and a year in this ranking, which Gallup has been measuring since 1979. China has gradually declined in the esteem of the American public in recent years, falling a total of 38 points since 2018. More than 8 in 10 U.S. adults have a negative opinion of China, including 45% who view it very unfavorably and 39% mostly unfavorably. According to Chinese media, the surveys are influenced by biased reports from American media. Chinese researchers say that American media, along with the government, have created a false and threatening image of China, a global threat, a challenge to the so-called international order. This heavily affects the public perception of China, according to Chinese scholars. Some U.S. research agencies are interested in conducting surveys on Americans' attitudes towards China so that Washington can use the results to mobilize Americans, as well as its allies and partners, to contain and isolate China. The U.S. sees China as a danger to its hegemonic status and cannot tolerate any country that challenges its dominance, Chinese news reports claim. Furthermore, they continue to say that the U.S. did not anticipate that China would quickly become the world's second-largest economy and one day stand on equal footing with the U.S. in international affairs. Additionally, China has also become a military power, and the Western Pacific, especially waters near China, is no longer a place where Washington can act freely. A powerful and independent China has emerged in the East. This is what the U.S. could not imagine before and is reluctant to see. The U.S. cannot accept the prosperity of other countries. It still demands that all countries discard their own security interests to maintain absolute U.S. security, and the economic development of all countries must also serve Washington's economic hegemony and maintain the dominance of the U.S. dollar. Despite being a developing country, China is perceived as becoming too powerful on the strategic chessboard of the U.S., representing a challenge to its hegemony. Therefore, the U.S. propaganda machine is working overtime to discredit China, a country that has improved significantly compared to the late 1980s. As China's foreign minister, Xin Gang, said, the U.S. talks a lot about following rules. But imagine two athletes competing in an Olympic race. If one athlete, instead of focusing on doing their best, always tries to trip up or even injure the other, that's not fair competition, but malicious confrontation and foul play. The Chinese news website, Global Times News, states in its editorial, most Americans are friendly and reasonable, but the U.S. has become arrogant and arbitrary under its political elite leadership. These political elites are using all kinds of means to portray China as a castaway. U.S. policy towards China is vicious, destructive, and reckless. Its mentality of not being able to tolerate others' success is morbid. The editorial states that there are also anti-U.S. sentiments among the Chinese people. As Chinese people learn more about the U.S., they tend to become more aware that the U.S. is not as good as its media portrays. Over the past three decades, the U.S. has repeatedly incited conflicts and even wars around the world. It is therefore normal and rational for more Chinese to be fed up with the U.S. government, some of its politicians, and even its public opinion. 
The practice of China in defending its own interests against the U.S. is sincere and genuinely supported by the Chinese people, which cannot be shaken by Washington's dirty tricks. The Chinese government and press have been repeating the discourse that the U.S. is trying to restrain China's advance at any cost, and we have been observing all the developments of this relationship in our content here on the channel. The Chinese government controls the media, as well as the information that circulates in the country. It is worth remembering that search engines such as Microsoft's Bing and Alphabet's Google are blocked in the country, and the most widely used search engine in the country is Baidu, a Chinese company. It is widely known that China imposes strict internet access restrictions in the country. To play the population against any enemy, the Chinese government would not find great difficulties having control of the media, press, and internet. On the other hand, the US is really facing a worthy opponent, which was perceived too late when they realized China's growth and great development on several fronts, including military and nuclear areas. It was already too late, and all of China's growth had a great influence from U.S. and other Western companies. Companies from various sectors migrated their production to China in search of increasing their profits by taking advantage of the country's low manufacturing costs, which are largely due to the exploitation of labor. It is worth noting that China is very famous for restricting labor rights and having exhausting work hours. Some cases of suicide in factories like Foxconn have come to light and there are certainly many others that are not public knowledge. A large part of the discomfort of countries like the US regarding China's rapid growth is due to how it happened, extremely cheap labor through labor exploitation, espionage, disrespect for patents and rights on industrial and intellectual property, and counterfeiting. China is a reality, and its growth process is irreversible. The country and its companies have become the largest trading partners of many countries, including the US and the European Union, even in the face of so many conflicts. What will be the future of this relationship? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. We would also love to hear your thoughts and feedback in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.